What's going on everyone, it's Rich Lux, and today's video is gonna be a little different because we're doing a what's in my bag. Oh my God, what's going on everybody? <laughs> So many people have been asking me to do this video about what's in my bag. So I was like, okay, I'll finally get around to it. I think I did this video a long time ago. So this is the Louis Vuitton document holder. This bag is discontinued. This bag was specifically meant to hold documents. That's why it's really big, like, like legal papers. So this is basically a vintage piece. The only type of work I had to have done to it was getting this part right here replaced. And it was so much drama. I went to Louis Vuitton and they shipped the whole entire thing to Paris just to replace this little thing right here. Took about like two weeks. Finally got it back and I have this new one right here. But that was like a long time ago. Held up pretty nice, but what I love about, about Vince's Louis Vuitton is that the quality is a lot more thicker and sturdier than the newer stuff they have out now. I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's the difference, but if you're like a fan of Louis Vuitton, then you know what I'm talking about. A lot of the newer items are just, they, they, they feel almost, they feel very soft and not as just tough, right? So it's just basically one piece of canvas. So it's one piece of canvas and it goes all the way around. See there? And so there's one piece of canvas that looks upside down on this side. Then here seems to be like some stitching. So you have, you have another piece of canvas here. And then on this side, it's nothing. The whole thing opens up, zips down like that. So it's just almost like a hat almost. But this is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces. Um, if you're really interested in buying one for yourself, I think they go around for about four or $500. But you have to get them from like Fashion File and Trade Zine, places where they sell vintage Louis Vuitton. So it opens up this way. And if I were to go all the way down, I'm pretty sure everything would fall out. So I'm going to just do it this way. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it holds a lot of stuff. So like I said, this was mainly supposed to be used for documents, but as time went on and people started using more computers and stuff like that, this went out of the window. But I found a way. This fits a laptop. This also fits an iPad and it also fits. And since I'm a bigger guy, I need like a bigger bag. So this is perfect. But the only, but don't get this confused with the Louis Vuitton toiletry holder 26, cause that's fairly big too. This is way, way bigger than that. And so I usually just hold it like this way or I just tuck it underneath my arm, but it's really big. Like for my proportions, cause like for my, if you see me standing up, I'm like a very tall, broad shoulder guy. So carry, carrying around a little dainty bag, is, this looks very funny, so I need something big. And what's so frustrating is that Louis Vuitton has yet to come out with the bag with this design and this pattern again, maybe with like a different type of lining inside. So that's why this bag is so special to me. If you're a Louis Vuitton collector, I think this is like a must have. I mean, at least for me, I mean, that's what I feel. So this is like my going out bag. You don't know where you're gonna end up at the end of the night. So this is gonna be a very bougie video. So when I tend to go out, I always tend to use like very high-end products. So there will be no wet and wild, no drugstore stuff in this bag, okay? So for the first thing I have is a brush because you gotta touch up and it comes with its own little case here because I don't want the bristles to be like, you know, touching all this stuff here and ruining the bag. So it comes with a little case. This is the Kat Von D highlight and contour brush. And there it is there. So you have your highlight and your contour here. And I do a lot of highlight and contouring. So I was like two in one. It comes in its own little coffin. So like this is perfect to have in my bag. Next thing I have in my bag is the Christian Dior aerosol powder. So you just shake it up. I don't recommend like spraying it on your face. I would do it like on a brush or a beauty blender. Spray it on that and then I would do it this way. So I have this one here. So that's pretty cool. And this is shade 501. Okay, so next thing I have is the Christian Dior, I think it's like BB cream in shade 003. It pops open like this. You can see that color. What I really like about this is it's not like a full face foundation, but it just really evens out my skin tone. Especially like if you spend the night somewhere and you wake up, take a shower, wash your face, just put a little bit of this on and you look so natural and you're just ready to go. And that's what I really like about this. All right, I have another Louis Vuitton item in here. This one I recently got, I think maybe like a month ago. I zip it open, has all my little credit cards in there and I close it up. I freaking use this so much. Put it in my pocket, ready to go. I have everything in here. I put my keys, my cash. Well, maybe like one key in there and a couple bills, but the rest is just credit cards. And it matches my little bag. It's so cute. All right, we're gonna get ultra boozy now, girl. So this is the, oh my gosh, this is so old, look. 
I have used so much of this. This is the Chanel bronzer. I want to say it's a bronzer. It's the Chanel Le Beige. This is the one without the SPF because I really don't like makeup to have SPF in it because there's one that has SPF. This is the one without SPF, but I love it so much. It just kind of warms me up around here and it gives like a very soft glow because when you put it on, you really don't see it. You don't see it as bold in person as you would like. So that's what I really like. It's like a subtle glow. Then you got to have your highlight, which a subscriber sent me this. Miss Locker down there in the comments she's always commenting this is a chanel highlighter with the rose and yeah has a little red packaging there then i have like this huge band-aid i'm gonna tell you why usually usually when i go out at night i wear like my new shoes right and so because they're new i'm still breaking them in so sometimes like this is like my foot like the back part will rub against the shoe and it hurts so i usually just have this band-aid to put it there so that way the shoe's not rubbing against my skin i have a face mask in here too oh my gosh dude this is the Sephora Pearl face mask because you never know when you're gonna need it. Little hydration girl. All right, and then you have my Chanel lip balm right here. This is the one in the square design. I knew there's a one in a circle design. And I was like, well, let me finish the square design and I'll buy the circle one. But I've had this for like two years and I haven't even like, you see? This is, I haven't really even, I've never even finished it yet. This will go on forever. But you know, this is like $50, so it's meant to be used. But you do get a lot of product in there. All right, so then I have three condoms because you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, my favorite MAC lipstick. I think, I think everybody has like that one favorite MAC lipstick. This one's mine, okay? Check it out. Let me show you the color. I have two of these, okay? I actually have it on right. So this is called Yash AB6, and this is the matte. I, everything I do, I do matte. So this is my favorite skin tone. And for me, like it's so difficult to find that really good color for my lips because naturally with no makeup on, my lips are very dark. So this lipstick just really makes me look more like of a doll, it makes me look, everything looks more smoothed out and I really do like it a lot. Okay, I have my contact lenses right here. I got this case off eBay. It's like really, it was like 10 for a dollar or something like that. It's like really cheap. All right, and then for a bronzer, all right, and then for a more of a contour, I have this one here, which is the Tom Ford in color 03 Bronze Age. Yeah, and it's not, the, there's a bigger one too. This is a small one. All right, what is this? Okay, so this is the Chanel LeBlanc face cream. They gave me this one, like every time I go to the Chanel counter, they give me so many samples. So I just throw them in my bag. All right, I have some tweezers here because my eyebrows get crazy, girl. Let's like pluck them out. And then I have the Gucci eyelash curler, which is this way, which honestly, girls, it's not worth it at all. Like you can spend like six bucks and get you a really good drugstore uh, mascara. But to me, it's all the same. I really don't see it, I think. Yeah, but to me, it's pretty much all the same. This isn't, I don't, I don't think like, I, when it comes to like mascara, to me, it's like all a gimmick, girl. The drugstore mascaras are like just as good. But you know me, girl, I like to feel bad and bougie. So I got this one. You can see like the G's in there. It's just really cute to have in the bag, you know. And then I have the limited edition Chanel Black. You can see this color here, up here. And I went and swatched it for you right there. And what I use this for, I use it to darken up my eyebrows so they can look more full. I don't know, I've, I've always just like been that way. I know I could use like like a pencil or I could even use my mascara to make it look more full, more darker, but it's just the old school in me, girl. I just use black and just like fill it in, make it look more bold. And that's pretty much all that's inside my bag. You can see that here, it's the color. I like the color inside, but I really do hope Louis Vuitton makes another bag like this, like an updated style, because I really do love it. And it, it's and it, for it being like a vintage piece, like it still has that that leather thick old odor. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoy this really chill video hanging out with me. But as always, guys, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you liked the video, share it. If you didn't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of their life going there. All right, see you next video, peace. Hey guys, I'm back. You see this little mouse? That's me waving at you. <laughs> okay, so I know you're gonna have questions. So over here, this is the Louis Vuitton monogram poche document portfolio case laptop bag. Oh yeah, all right, so it's 15L, 11H, two width. So this one goes for $600, but there is one that I saw online for 400 currently. Um, so I'm gonna show you some pictures of it here. This one case. The video wasn't to your liking and that's what it looks like in the inside so this person who's selling theirs theirs has like a little mark right here and then the style number or the serial code or date code will be right there but here's a, a diagram of it. it looks very big compared to 
the toiletry pouch 26. All right, and so here is another one, and this one is $409. And I yeah the retail price went for seven twenty but back then Louis Vuitton back then I was kind of cheap because Louis Vuitton's the prices have skyrocketed now so there's just more pictures over here so you can see that and you can see the inside of it there that one has like a little bit of cracking like I said these are like vintage pieces and so here is another one which is three hundred and ninety nine dollars and you can see some of the photos there wow they have some really good photos. On this website here so yeah I, this is something that I really would repurchase I really do like this piece but anyways guys this is one of my favorite bags and I hope you enjoy it too